am Olenka and today I would love to show you how to make a delicious beef cilantro stew. In Peru we call it seco de res and I hope you like it. If you like cilantro, I should say this is the base of this dish. So let's go with ingredients. Our ingredients for our delicious seco or beef cilantro stew are we need some beef. In my case, um, for the ingredients, the type of beef that I am using is boneless short ribs. They are very, very tasty, you know, because they are, you know, uh, stick to the, to the bone, very close to the bone, right? So I like um, this specific kind of meat, but you can use whatever you prefer. We need uh, some onions, garlic, a little bit of red uh, pepper paste, yellow Peruvian ahi pepper um, and then we need some squash, beef broth, beer for the stew, a little bit for me then, you know, <laughs> cilantro, salt, pepper and that's it. So step number one, this is a stew that we are going to cook like many Peruvian stews in layers. So. First step, we are going to sear our beef. All the, for all the sides, right? We do not want to cook the beef all the way through. We just want to sear it. And do not overcrowd your pan. That's also very, very important to have in mind. So my meat is seared, right? And now, in this pot where I sear the meat, I am going to add the onion. I am sauteing my onion in the same pot where I sear the meat because I want to take advantage of all of that, you know, yumminess that is stuck into the pot. And that will happen while I do my saute of the onions and the peppers and the garlic, you know, and then we're going to deglaze it with a beer. Um, so you please do not dare to wash your pot. Do it in the same way. Now that my onion, it's perfectly cooked, I am going to add my garlic here. And I am also going to add my red Peruvian pepper paste or aji panca and also my yellow Peruvian pepper paste or mirasol and now the onion, the garlic and the peppers are going to become friends important I am going to add one bunch of cilantro into my blender with everything stems and everything a little bit of water and I am going to blend it now my saute it's perfectly cooked and now I am going to add here my deglaze element which in this case it's a beer Going to let this boil for a little bit. In the meantime, I am going to season this a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. So this is gonna, I, I'm gonna let it boil for maybe a couple of minutes and then I am going to add my cilantro uh, blend and then I am going to arrange all the pieces of beef. Now the time of the blended cilantro. Okay, and here I am going to arrange the pieces of meat. All of these drippings from the meat, I have to put it in. And now I am going to add here the beef broth. I'm gonna bring it to a boil. I'll bring this to a boil 
and then I am going to cover it and magic will happen. Now that my meat is here boiling with all the saute and the broth and the cilantro, I am going to add some squash here on top and this will give this um, stew a special touch um, and will also help softening the meat. Um, you do not have to mix everything. You can, you know, do it like this. It could be sitting on top of the stew because this will basically melt down. The, the cook process will take about two to three hours. Uh, why? Because I am going to put it in very low and slow method. Uh, so then the collagen could be also be trapped, you know, in the pieces of meat and that will give that butteriness that we all love when we have a very yummy and properly cooked piece of meat. So be patient, okay? Um, this is a, a dish that needs uh, lots of TLC, tender love in there. Okay, looking good, tasting good, good on salt, good on pepper, good on everything, good amount of broth, it's boiling, so now I am going to lower the temperature to minimum. I am going to cover it and this will be simmering for a couple of hours and then I'll check. So while my stew is simmering in here, I am going to use the same blender that I used to blend my first bunch of cilantro and I am going to blend the other bunch of cilantro with a little bit of water. And once it's blended, I am going to put it in the refrigerator so that it doesn't turn brown. This cilantro that I just blend, I am going to add it at the end. So then we will end up with a bright green instead of with a brown green. And it will add, you know, also that last layer of freshness. Other thing, um, I am using uh, today frozen peas, um, but if you are um, using um, raw peas, maybe during the last stretch of the simmering, maybe about 15 minutes or so, you add them, that is the right time to add them. It will take, you know, about 10 minutes or so. Um, but these ones I am going to add them at the end because they are cooked, so, you know, we don't need to. Okay, my friends, two hours went by. The smell is absolutely wonderful. It's so, so soft. Now is the time to add uh, the blended cilantro remaining in my piece. And that's it. In Peru, we eat this dish, we serve it typically with a side of rice, yes, and also a side of beans with bacon. Right, so rice, beans, and then this deliciousness, you know, with the cilantro sauce. And of course, some onion relish, our salsa criolla. Mm. If you think about the ingredients, so simple, yet so flavorful. The meat is super tender, um, you have the balance with the peas, with the sweetness and the squash that we add also. Uh, it is not super hot, you know, like kids friendly, right? Even though one of my kids really likes spicy. Uh, but anyways, my friend, I invite you to recreate this dish. 
um, one of my favorites, I should say. Um, and I think that you can have a very delicious dinner with your friends and with your family. And hope you try it. And remember, use your secret weapon, use your love. Remember, I love you all. And remember, there's people in the world that love you to pieces. So, lots of kisses to you. Wishing you the best. Be happy, my friends. Be well. And hug the ones that you love the most. Bye-bye. See you soon.